Do you want a non-surgical breast lift? Well, we can help. At Rejuvenation MD, we have lots of different modalities on how to do that. So Scarlet is our radio frequency microneedling device. And we are starting with that to make channels, which are then going to have to tighten. So she's gonna have thousands of channels all over her breasts that are gonna be forced to tighten. Then the radio frequency that is being released with each needle as it comes down is going to also, it's an energy that also causes tightening. The beauty is that the radio frequency and the needling also irritates the fibroblasts to make more collagen. So we're restructuring at the same time that we are tightening and lifting. And you can see how comfortable it is because um, our patient is not complaining, but she also likes her nitrous, so that's always helpful. Um, but as I have said before, Scarlet is a radio frequency microneedling device. It's very comfortable. It's 25 tapered little pins that come down. And as they come down, they release radio frequency, which again, irritates the fibroblast to make more collagen and causes tightening in every single layer of the tissue as those needles come down. So it's a very unique NA effect. It's called NA effect that only Scarlet has. And we normally do multiple passes with the, with the Scarlet. So that's why I keep going over and over the same area um, to give the best possible results. The more, the more passes, the better the uh, response. So, but and you can see I, did, I covered that entire breast in the time that I've been talking to you. So that's pretty good. So it doesn't have to take forever to do. So we have just scarleted our patient's breast. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inject PRP. So while you weren't looking, I had drawn her blood, I spun it down, and I concentrated her platelets into these few uh, syringes that I've got over on the side. And the way that PRP works is that once I inject the platelets, there are biostimulatory proteins that will call to her stem cells, and her stem cells will migrate to where the platelets are, and they will become new target tissue. So we're injecting the breast, so she'll get new adipose tissue, which is what the breasts are made of. She'll also get new collagen and elastin to help lift her breasts too. So that is how PRP works. So like I said, we started with Scarlet to give some lift with radio frequency and microneedling, and now we're going to inject some PRP. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. You all set over here? She gives me the thumbs up, so yay. So here we go. One, two, three, a little love right there, la la la. And, and it, they might be a little spicy because the Platelets tend to be a little bit um, uh, acidic, but we use some bicarbonate to help make that feel a little less acidic. And platelets are great in many different places. So I think PRP for the breast lift is probably one of the most popular that we do. We do it uh, very regularly. And uh, our patient actually flew in from California to have me do this. So that's pretty amazing. We've had uh, people from Hawaii and New York and a few people from California, Oregon. So it's pretty exciting to have uh, patients come up to do this. So that was one injection spot. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna do it again, a little higher up. So ready, one, two, three, here we go. The other thing that you can inject um, before the platelets would be fillers, which would be an immediate um, lift because it is hyaluronic acid that gives volume. Um, and so you could inject fillers there because the PRP, although you can see a visual improvement right now in about three to four days, she's not going to see really where I injected. So, but if she had done filler prior, she would see it right away. And as the filler degrades over time, the PRP kicks in. So you never are without uh, the volume that you want. But she already has really nice breasts, so I don't think that the um, fillers were really needed for her. Now this is platelet pore plasma. I'm going to uh, continue around her breast and inject that as well because it is part of the protocol and also because we have it. So let's use it. It is serum. There's still some platelets in there. Even though it's platelet poor, there's also other growth factors and cytokines um, that are in there too. So let's use it all. Um, she also, if you can see, has some stretch marks here. 
So the platelet rich plasma and platelet poor plasma are going to really help her stretch marks as well because we are making, you know, new tissue. So that's super exciting. I can't wait to see how her breasts turn out. And then we're going to keep on going, kind of turn a little bit onto the shoulder and give me a little more access over. Turn a little, yeah, you got it, right like that. You got it right there. And I did some scarlet down here on these, on those uh, stretch marks as well. Here we go again. And we're almost done with this breast. And beautiful. 